Hi everyone, it's Nat here. Hope you're all doing well. I am on to show you my chicken journal before I post it off. So I made this for a friend who wanted me to make a journal in the style of the cinch journals that I made. She wanted a chicken theme um, as she wanted it for a family member as a Christmas present. So that's what I've been doing over the last week. Uh, so I have used some digitals in this one because I didn't have a lot of chicken themed stuff as you might know if you've been following along with me because I've been tearing my hair out trying to find chicken books in the op shops. So I've used digitals from Witchcraft Do You Do? I used their slides um, for this one. I've used a couple of Tracy Fox labels. Um, I have used a co some cutouts from a collage sheet from Allegra Digital and some vintage chicken ads from Triddles Digitals and these chook plates, beautiful chook plates. I've used them on a lot of pages and they're from Clean Archive. So I'll link all of them down below. And I've also used just a couple of my own digitals as well because I didn't think I had much. And then right near the end, I found this old um, journal on chickens that I forgot I had. So I managed to scan a couple of those and use them. So yes, I have just backed the plate onto some hessian here and put, I used all my um, vintage book corners again on this one, on the plate pages. Just put a book plate and I put the word poultry on there. I was using some um, letter stamps to do the word, but then there was a funny space between the L and T that I didn't like. So I had found this book in the shop last week with the backyard poultry on the front cover and I was able to cut the word poultry out of that and use it there. So that worked out well. So it is an old book cover that I've recycled as the front and back covers and I have just covered over the raw edges with some fabric. So these are the advert, digital advert pages that I've used and I've just used some hessian because the pages weren't long enough to cover the whole inside. So, and then I have used the fly pages, colour fly pages from Recycled Books as all the coloured pages in here. And then I did my own labels on some craft card stock and I used one my um, Build Your Own Business Stamp. I don't know why I do this to myself, but there were names of all the chickens with the digital. So I thought it would be nice to put the actual name of those chooks on here which is fair enough. Now, someone with some brains would have just typed them out in a font on the computer and printed them onto the cardstock. But I decided to use my Build Your Own Business stamp set. Now, it must have taken me a good four hours <laughs> to stamp the labels. And then, because you've got to... For each one, I had to remove all those tiny little stamps and put them in the right way around and try stamping it and then try getting it centred in the label. Yeah. <laughs> so that took me about four hours to do. But I did it in the end and I was happy with it. So some of them didn't stamp completely, but, you know, I like trying to do these things. And I felt good using something that I'd bought from the second-hand shop, so... Yeah. <laughs> so there's my envelope flip pocket. I used a brown envelope for this one. And I found some rooster stamps. And I made a little journaling card there with some of the collage sheet cutouts. And one of the labels from Witchcraft Do You Do. So it slips in there. And then the slide is one of my craft feathers, but it looks like it's possibly a chook feather, that one. So I'll put that in there. So various different papers for writing on. And then my specimen slide with the tabs. So I kept these pretty basic. I didn't um, embellish them as much as I did in the other journals because I was aware that this is for a male and I didn't have specific ones relating to chooks, um, embellishments and that as much. So I thought I'd leave them quite basic and just use some of Tracy Fox's labels and Witchcraft Do You Do labels on these. But that's a beautiful um, chicken postage stamp from Romania by the looks. Um, so I have a charm here. I found a feather charm. Thought that would do for the charm in this one. 
and that goes onto the paper clip that holds onto this little bag that I've embellished with an advert and a chicken. And then in there is another one of the cutout adverts so that can be written on. It's just like a little journal page with some chooks and that on it. Slip that back in if I can. I know it goes in. Go in. found this beautiful page in a book I've got here that has all different animals on this brown paper so I pulled out the um, rooster one for this book just put one of my field observation pages over the top of the text that was on that side these are golden spangled polish apparently love the hair on those ones so that is a pocket there on this diary page and I made this big tag some more cutouts. Then I had managed finally to find a book on chooks in the shop. It was quite a modern one, but had beautiful pictures. So I've got that picture there. And on the other side, I put another page of adverts over the text. And um, just because it didn't fit the whole page, I put some more fly page, colored fly page there. Now I've got my little slide pocket and in there I have this. Oh, I haven't embellished that one. I missed one. I must do that. I'll find another little label here. Um, so <laughs> this um, is from a vintage book I have here from the 30s or something like that. And it had a page that had yeah, different meat chooks and this one's a large griller apparently. So I've put the title of it, large griller there. I thought that was kind of humorous. So that just slips in there. Sorry to all your all you vegans out there. It sort of hides the title so you get a bit of a surprise when that slips out. Might have to stick. I've got filed. Or I've got that one looks pretty cool. Might do that while we're here or else I'll forget. It's always something. Oh yeah, I wonder if we'll use a like that too. You flip through and always find that pocket that's missing one thing or one thing that you haven't done. Mark them over to the side like that and I must have something underneath. So, I do have some cheesecloth here from which craft do you do and it is gorgeous. So I might use a bit of that. Cut some of this green one out. Okay, so I've done that. <laughs> Where was I? I'll just put that there so it doesn't stick to the page while I show you the rest. So here's the business card holder and I've got a cigarette card in there it's beautiful and a couple of rooster playing cards that just fit in there so you can just turn the page so here is a page from my vintage chicken book uh, it's management for egg production so it's got bad and good good type white leg horns and bad and good type orpingtons apparently The who dance with funny hairdos again. There's an egg specimen with a bit of a stamp there, postage stamp. Silver Polish. Got all the funny hairdos in this one. So heaps of writing space. And this one is a prime rooster. Good for eating that one. Then this page, I love this picture. It is the point of a fowl. So it's got all the different parts of a chook. 
what I've done with these pages because they are so old is just put reinforce them with a strip of tea dyed paper where I've punched the holes there. Now that's another page out of a chicken book. And this was just a title on, that was on this book as well. Is this a different one? Yeah, I think this is a different one to the one I cut the word poultry out of. These were on, um, I grabbed them because they were in the bin and I thought, finally, I found some chicken books, but they really didn't have much. There weren't any good photos or anything in them, but I was able to use the words off the cover. So I used the backyard poultry to go there. And some more adverts. This is the pocket page. So in there I have just this, which is standard breeds of chicken in Britain. Beautiful little pictures. I was going to use them to fussy cut and embellish like the slides and that, but um, just worked out better, I think, to use it as a whole. That's a big journaling spot in here. And there's my pocket page. Isn't it cute? I love that one. He looks fluffy. And the label. And so I just made this tag with a bit of book page. It's got a journaling spot there. More journaling spot there, and in here is a tag with some chickens, of course, and a rooster. It just slips in there nicely. So index card, more paper, more chickens. <laughs> so lots of chickens. And then I just put another chook on the back of that one. And then we've got our envelope flip with more chickens. How about that? And an advert down there on white leghorns. And then in here, I have another feather slide. So this is from an Isa Brown. That was actually one of my mum's and dad's chicken feathers. They don't have their chickens anymore, but when they did, I grabbed a feather from them and I was able to put that in here. And then in this pocket, I have got this beautiful photo, which is from Beck at Beccarelli's book. Thanks, Beck. Um, yeah, photo of her beautiful chickens, and they're so cute. So I was able to add that. It's a nice personal touch. I really like that. So that fits nicely in this pocket. And then this is an advert from a um, journal that I have here, chicken journal, which turned out really nice. So that's just a journaling spot. Then on the back, we've got this little tuck spot and I'll just put a little advert in there. And then this is out of the chicken journal that I have as well. I just resized it to make it a little smaller. They're the world's best layers, certified layers. That slips in there. And then I just backed it with some of the adverts and some more Hessian. Close that up. Might just leave that in just for a little bit longer. And then that's the back there. So it's just another one of the plates. And this is just a book spine from an Australian poultry book that I thought I would put there because I like the colour and the grunginess of it. So that is my chicken journal. So it was fun to revisit the cinch journals. I really like that. I said it's the same format as my bug journal. I'll probably make more like that in the future as well because I really like the way they turned out. They're really um, easy to make. Is it easy to make, fun to make? Recycle some bits and pieces. So I very much enjoyed making that. So take care of yourselves, be good, and I will see you again soon. Bye.